First Step 4, a local Jewish synagogue says it is considering making security improvements after this past weekend's anti-Jewish rallies around Orlando. This comes at a time when the FBI is reporting some of the highest levels of hate crime in more than a decade. West Jews Amanda Dukes joins us live from Maitland. And Amanda, has the rabbi received any threats? No, the rabbi who heads up Chabad of Greater Orlando tells me they have not received any threats. But he says Jews here in Central Florida and across the country are sensing a rise in anti-Semitism. And it has them wondering if security measures like this iron gate and even an armed guard are enough. Chabad of Greater Orlando is surrounded by an iron gate and security cameras provide live views all around the property. Rabbi Shalom Dubov said the recent attack on a synagogue in Texas and this past weekend's anti-Semitic rallies in Orlando has heightened concerns over his congregation's security. We are talking about getting another grant from the Homeland Security to beef up the security we already have with more cameras and to put bulletproof uh, windows in the front of the property. And it's unfortunately, we live in a time when this is necessary. Investigators say the protesters who popped up at two rallies in Orlando last weekend were with a neo-Nazi group and shouted anti-Jewish slurs while holding signs with swastikas. One passerby was reportedly attacked by the group, and Orange County Sheriff John Mina says charges are pending against three of the protesters. Leora Rez, the executive director of a national anti-Semitism watchdog group, says the filing of criminal charges is a major breakthrough. You guys are the first in the country to start doing this, so kudos to Florida. I mean, enough is enough of this garbage. Rez says Jews in America are on edge as the pandemic has brought an increase in anti-Semitism. Whenever a society is in a lull or a, a negative place, uh, people always need villains, and uh, with groups like this and other neo-Nazi white supremacist organizations, they like to blame things on minorities, specifically in this case on the Jewish people. As for how the greater community can support the Jewish community, Rabbi Dubov says we should all rally in solidarity. Instead of being a silent a supporter, stand up against hatred, stand up against bigotry, stand up against uh, indecency. Now, the Orange County Sheriff's Office says it's working with the Anti-Defamation League to identify the protesters who will likely face charges after those rallies last weekend. Meantime, a rabbi with a Chabad on the east side of Orange County says the person who was attacked by the protesters was a Jewish, Jewish UCF student. Live in Maitland, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.